Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in uh, memory management that is a fixed partitioning or a static partitioning. So in our previous session, we have seen uh, the introduction to memory management and also we have seen the memory allocation techniques and allocation methods. So in that allocation techniques, we have seen uh, contiguous memory allocation and uh, non-contiguous memory allocation. In today's session, we'll concentrate on one of the technique uh, related to contiguous memory allocation that is a fixed partitioning fixed size partitioning so without delay let's start fixed partitioning so this fixed partitioning is also called as a static partitioning so also known as static partitioning so why we are calling it as a static partitioning means so so before the processes are started loading into the main memory the complete main memory will be divided into blocks so the main memory will be partitioned during configuration itself configuration right and also the name itself indicates fixed that means fixed number of partitions so main memory will be divided into divided into fixed size partitions fixed size partitions or we can say fixed number of partitions so here see observe fixed size means partitions can't be modified so constant number of partition pa partitions constant number of partitions so there will be a little bit confusion that fixed size regarding this fixed size so here the fixed size means a constant number of partitions that doesn't mean that each and every partition should be of same size okay so here size of individual partition individual partition may or may not be equal see this is the most important point okay the size of individual partition may or may not be equal right so but here the complete memory will be divided into equal i mean a fixed number of partitions that means the those partitions can be updated in further for example let us take a main memory so this is a main memory so this is a main memory and we know the first part of main memory will always be the operating system so operating system will be loaded and uh, this is a user space okay this all is a user space and this user space will be partitioned okay so for example So this is the partitions okay for example this is of uh, 10 mb uh, this is of 15 mb and this size is of uh, 7 mb and this size is of 10 mb and this size is of some 8 mb so you can see one two three four five so total five partitions total five partitions so this architecture will be having only five partitions so we can't able to modify these partitions and these partitions as we mentioned here these partitions will be done during the configuration itself so fixed size that implies the number of partitions will be fixed and the another category see another possibility not a category another possibility so let us say this is a main memory main memory and the first part of main memory is operating system and see
see for example you can see 10 mb 10 mb 10 mb 10 mb 10 mb so you can see here also we are having a five partitions and each and every partition is having the same size so this is also comes under the fixed partition so this architecture is having a five partitions which can't be changed and here also we are having a five partitions uh, but the difference among these two is in this case each partition individual partition size is not equal and here in this case each and every partition size is equal for example our uh, see we are having uh, five processes p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 so p1 is of uh, some 4 mb p2 is of some 10 mb p3 is of some 5 mb process p4 is of 9 mb and p6 is of some 6 mb so for example these are the processes we are having and these processes should be accommodated by these partitions into these partitions okay so in this case in our just previous session we have seen the uh, memory allocation methods best fit first fit and worst fit among these three we have to choose one thing and we have to accommodate each partition to this process i mean we have to allocate the process to this particular partition we have to load the process into the main memory for example p1 4 megabytes uh, sorry 4 mb so let it be 4 mb the 4 mb process can be loaded if you are going with the first fit the first partition which is having more than 4 will be accommodated by will accommodate this particular process so 10 mb so 4 mb can be accommodated here so we can simply write it as p i am using the first fit so i'll post the link of these allocation methods first fit best fit and worst fit in the description so that you can refer that one right so coming to here i'm going with the first fit so if p1 is 4 mb the first largest is a 10 mb so p1 will be accommodated here p2 10 mb in next one is this one yes p2 can also be accommodated here p3 yes p3 can be accommodated here and p4 yes p4 can be accommodated and similarly p5 can also be accommodated okay if it is a first fit so here uh, this is how the fixed partitioning will be implemented so if it is a static if it is a static then there will be less overhead on operating system while accommodating the partition to the process okay less overhead because of this static okay it requires a minimum resources uh, to allocate the memory to the particular process and also this is a static is a very easy to implement very easy to implement this fixed partition so these are all advantages all these are <coughs> advantages advantages and there are a few drawbacks here very few drawbacks so i'll tell the drawbacks so first drawback is internal fragmentation internal fragmentation what is this internal fragmentation so drawback of this one is internal fragmentation uh, internal fragmentation is for example if you see p1 4 mb so some portion of this part is empty some 6 mb of space is wasted coming to the second one some 5 mb of space is wasted for example i'll write here okay so wastage so I'll write this here. It is a first fit. I'm using the first fit method. And in this, how much? Some 6 MB is wasted. And here, some 5 MB is wasted. Coming to the P3, P3 is 5 MB and it is 7. So 2 MB is wasted. And coming to the P4, it's a uh, 9 MB here, 10. So that means 1 MB. And P5, uh, it's 6 and 8. So 2 MB so all these memory is wasted okay 
right so each and every individual partition the wastage of memory okay the wastage of memory unused memory in individual partition is called as an internal fragmentation so that means some sort of memory will be automatically wasted for every partition here you can see okay some amount of memory so that is the main drawback here okay so here one more thing is one process can be placed in one partition see so this is also most important one process can be placed in only one partition one process can be placed in two partitions so once again one more no overlapping no overlapping so because only one process can be placed so there will be no overlapping on the partitions or a process so the internal fragmentation the um, amount of space wasted in each individual per, um, this partition okay this partition is also called as a fragmentation okay every partition we can call it as a fragment okay that fragment so internal fragmentation means inside each and individual partition if the memory the amount of memory is wasted is called as an internal and coming to the second one external obviously there will be an external fragmentation that is a one more uh, disadvantage external fragmentation external fragmentation means if you add all these things see overall in complete main memory see 6 plus 5 11 and uh, uh, 5 16 mb of space is wasted okay from entire main memory for example if you want to allocate p6 with a 10 mb okay there is no partition available here and we are saying that only one process can be placed in one partition so p6 can't be accommodated in any one of the partition so see already available space in main memory so available space that means unused space or a free space in main memory is 16 mb which is greater than p6 that is a 10 mb even though we can't load this p6 into this 16 mb we can't accommodate the the process into this unused free space so how we are getting this free space means adding all the free space of the main memory right that we call it as an external fragmentation so this 16 mb is called as an external fragmentation okay the next one limited number of limited number of processes can be accommodated for example you can see as we are saying that a fixed partitioning so during the configuration itself this main memory will be partitioned so here only five partitions have been done so we can't accommodate six partitions we can't accommodate more than five partitions into this main memory right so that is one drawback the limitation of of number of processes that are being so the number of partitions divided that many process can all only be loaded at a time that is a one drawback another drawback limited number of partitions also so processes and partitions so as we are say, saying it is a static partitioning so whatever the partitions that has been done during the configuration that will be fixed so we can't able to change it okay in further so that's why we can't change the partitions also there will be a limited number of partitions which can accommodate the process that is one of the drawback okay so these are the drawbacks and these are the advantages advantages less overhead uh, on operating system because everything will be done during the configuration itself so minimum resources will be required and coming to the easy, very easy to implement this uh, fixed partitions and drawbacks internal fragmentation external fragmentation so memory will be wasted and coming to the limited number of processes as well as the partitions so this is all about our uh, first technique in contiguous memory allocation that is fixed partitioning so once again i am concentrating about fixed size partitioning means the number of partitions will be fixed but the size of each partition may be fixed or may not be fixed
so see this is important all right so i'll post the link of uh, this memory allocation methods first fit best fit and uh, worst fit in the description so just go through there and you can follow this fixed partition right yes i'll stop here and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much